Hey guys, thanks so much for visiting uh, Carnivorous Plants Hub. I can't wait to bring you this update, uh, but real quick, I just wanted to take a moment and ask that you support me and my channel by subscribing or giving this video a like. I have a dream one day to open a carnivorous plant nursery, uh, and we really would appreciate your support. Uh, just a like or a subscription to this channel really goes a long way in helping me, and I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, and let's go ahead and uh, check out this update. Okay guys, here's my uh, Nepenthes pitcher plant. Um... And if you remember from the last video, it's grown a lot. It's actually done really, really well. And if you did watch my last video, you know that this plant was the one that I was the most nervous about because I've had the least amount of experience in growing these, but it's actually been the one that has been by far the most successful. So um, let me flash you a picture real quick of what it looked like before. Okay. So now that you've seen before and you can see the after, you can see just how much it's grown. I'm really excited because you can see the pictures are staying um, pretty healthy. They look pretty good. I've been keeping a little bit of water in the pictures. Um, this guy is not in full sun like the uh, Venus flytraps. I didn't really mention, but the Venus flytraps have been in full sun for, I don't know, probably eight hours a day or so. Um, and I keep them outside. Uh, this guy sees probably about six hours of indirect sun in our windowsill inside and uh, maybe when I'm done here I'll go inside and show you kind of what it looks like and where I'm keeping it but um, the window is a western facing window um, with probably I don't know six to maybe eight hours of sun depending on the day but um, you can see I've got a lot of new growth on this this actually is my newest picture here um, I was really excited when this guy started growing because for the longest time he didn't look like much um, let's see if I can get you a better angle there. So for the longest time it looked a lot like this guy right here. And since I'm not as experienced in growing these, I didn't really know, see how it's kind of brown and it almost looks kind of deadish. Um, to me that just kind of looked like it was maybe not getting enough umph and didn't grow, but it actually has now started to finally turn into a pitcher. So. Uh, I'm really excited about that. So that's my first new picture. And then I know that there was another one. I, I don't know which one it was, but um, I was just looking at my videos from a month ago. And one of them, one of these have grown significantly because it, it was just a little bit bigger than this one when I first started. Um, but then I have this new, this new one popping out the top right here. So that's a new one coming out of the top. And this is a new one here that I'm hoping will start um, growing its picture here soon. So. Uh, the only one that I don't think is going to do anything here is and it's because the leaf was cut. And the leaf was cut when I first got it. So um, I'm pretty sure that that one's not going to really do anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's looking good. So what I do is I don't... Um, this pot is set up to have water in the bottom, but I don't actually keep any water in the bottom. I actually keep that pretty dry. Um, it's nice because it doesn't leak. Uh, and I don't think you're supposed to keep any water in the bottom of these that I, I keep reading about that because it says that they're really susceptible to root rot. Um, so I, I, what I do is I mist it uh, twice a day, once right when I get up in the morning around 7, and then another time usually um, closer to the evening time around somewhere between 5 and 8, somewhere in there. Um, I gave it a good misting. I keep this topsoil here nice and moist. Make sure that that doesn't dry out, but I don't keep any water in there. When I do start to get a little accumulation of water, I'll just clean it out real quick. Um, because I don't think that you should have the water in there for the, the, the chance of there being root rot. But yeah, so far this guy has actually been my uh, my top performer and I'm really excited about that. Um, so far he's been really simple for me to grow. I put him in the, the substrate and uh, keep him misted twice a day. Make sure his soil is, you know, nice and moist and uh, he's been growing really well so really excited about that um, and then at the end of this video I'll go inside and show you sort of what the windowsill looks like that he's been chilling at but yeah okay guys like I said I wanted to give you a, a quick uh, idea of where this guy sits for most of the day um, so he sits in this windowsill all day you can see this is a west facing window um, so he gets quite a bit of sun toward the afternoon um, Here's some of our other plants. We've got some succulents up here, and my wife has saved a few other plants from Walmart. So you can see that the carnivorous plants isn't the only thing we have going on here. She's got a calla lily that was pretty much on the verge of being completely dead uh, when she saved it, and this has been doing awesome. 
so that's cool. And then she's pretty proud of her aloe vera plant too that's been sprouting like crazy. Uh, this thing was really close to being dead, but it's been doing really well and it's treated a couple of burns this summer, so good for it. But yeah, so this is the western facing window. So basically what I do is I um, usually around like four or five, I'll just come in here and it's not consistent, but I'll come in here and I'll kind of rotate it um, so that, you know, kind of every side of it gets its turn in the sun. Um, just kind of keep it rotated throughout the day. But yeah, so that's the, the window that that guy's in. He's inside all day. I don't ever put him outside. Um, and so far he's been doing great. So um, I'll probably just stick with that until for whatever reason that doesn't work. Also, please no judgment on the dirty window. You can see it's actually really high off the ground here and it's not an easy window to clean, but <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's where he lives. Thanks guys. All right guys, uh, that's all of them. <clears throat> that's the update. So uh, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, checking this out. Uh, make sure and subscribe. Uh, so that you can keep getting these updates and see how these plants are doing um, over the next several months. I'm a little nervous for dormancy coming up, um, but I was hoping that you guys can maybe give some suggestions on that. Uh, I have all these kind of potted separately. I think this guy will keep separate. He's inside, so I, I think dormancy will be fine for that one, but I think I might get the uh, the Saracenia and the um, Venus flytraps planted together in a bigger pot uh, before dormancy happens. I'm just a little worried because of the them just kind of getting over the shock of being replanted so i'm hoping that by the time dormancy starts to hit i'll have the, they'll be a lot more healthy um and i'll have the ability to plant them together but uh what do you guys think drop a comment um give me some advice on how you think i should handle dormancy this winter with with these guys keep them separate like this um which i don't think is that great of an idea or should i get them all uh, together in a in a bigger planter um but yeah, I uh, appreciate your subscription. Um, if you like the video, that's something I also really appreciate. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some uh, consistent updates on these guys and um, sort of show you what dormancy looks like and then walk you through that with these different plants. Thanks a lot, guys.